professional beggar is snapped changing out of a brand new jacket and smart trainers into scruffy clothes before hitting the streets. Images have emerged that appear to show a professional beggar changing out of smart clothing into scruffy clothes before asking for money at a station. The man was pictured taking off a brand new blue jacket and smart trainers before getting into a sleeping bag at Moorfields Railway Station in Liverpool. It comes as the city's mayor Joe Anderson has called for a crackdown on fake beggars coming in from outside Liverpool and has announced the creation of a team to tackle the issue. According to the Liverpool Echo, the pictures were taken by an unnamed eyewitness who said the man's bright blue jacket caught their eye. The witness told the paper, I couldn't believe what I was seeing because he was putting scruffy trousers and a big old coat over the top of them, there was a girl next to me who was also watching in disbelief. I decided to quickly take photographs because I think it shows the problem that is happening in the city, I was shocked at what I was seeing and thought people should see it. A station worker, who wished to remain anonymous, said the man is regularly positioned on buses between 10 and 20 yards away from the area where the professional beggar has been seen. The worker said, I see him in the morning. He gets here about 7 a.m., puts his coat, climbs into a sleeping bag, puts his cap on, puts his paper cup out and just lies there as if he's been there all night. And then people just give him money. He'll be there for two or three hours and then he'll clear off. He's only there in the mornings. Last week I saw a woman give him a note, what looked like a 10 pounds or 20 pounds note. I felt like saying something to her and telling her that she'd just been conned, he's conning people. There are a couple of guys a bit further down the road outside an apartment block who do sleep there all night and are homeless, and they never get anything. He's taking the food out of their mouths. We see the police turn up to move those two on quite a bit, but I've never seen them speak to him. He doesn't react when people give him money or anything, he just puts on a front. Station workers inside Moorfield Station said they had not seen the man or anyone who appeared to be a professional beggar, but admitted there were many homeless people in the area. Reception staff at the nearby apartment block where other homeless people had been seen said they were not allowed to comment. Mayor Anderson said the photographs show the full extent of the problem. He said, this backs up what we have been saying. We are not targeting people who need our support, we are targeting those who are taking advantage of the people of Liverpool, who are getting money under false pretenses. We aren't going after people who are clearly in need, it is the people who will not cooperate that we are focusing on. Everyone can see what this person is doing, he was outside Moorfields putting different clothes on top of his clothes. This is an issue that is blighting the city and putting tourists off from coming here. Mayor Anderson added, what we are saying is that sometimes things are not quite as they seem, and we would encourage people to ask those on the streets what their situation is and if they have somewhere to go. Mayor Anderson said his council spends £12 million per year on the issue of homelessness, with half of that going towards preventing people from becoming homeless in the first place. He added, we helped 35,000 people from becoming homeless in the last 12 months. Council figures said there were only 124 beggars in Liverpool in December, but that just 12 of them were genuinely sleeping rough, with the others either having accommodation or refusing it. David Carter, the chief executive of Liverpool's Whitechapel Centre homeless charity, said, The begging problem is happening for a number of different reasons, this includes organised begging by criminal groups. It comes a matter of days after a similar incident in Cambridge where people were pictured arriving in the city and paying for a whole day's parking before heading into the centre to beg. As reported by Mail Online, three professional beggars were seen parking up in a Volkswagen Passat before separating and heading to different areas around the shopping arcades. They left their left-hand drive car, which bears Romanian license plates, in a residential road and did not bother to remove their sat-nav device from its charging cradle on the dashboard. The parking ticket displayed in the window showed that they had paid for the maximum allowed date hours, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Locals reacted with shock and disgust at the revelations that the trio had been feigning homelessness, but said that they were known to operate regularly in the city. City.